डाउट था लास्ट क्लास में सिम्टोट संबंध आ गया ना आदित्य अगर राइट क्वेश्चन गिवन होगा तो आप हाइपर वाला का क्वेश्चन निकाल लेंगे राइट एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन फाइंड ना कॉन्जुगेट हाइपर बोला सी प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू टू ए रिलेशन बताया था राइट मतलब अगर देखिए एसमटोट्स का पता होता है तो आप एच हाइपर बोला निकाल लेते हैं राइट कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म में ओनली डिफरेंस होता है उसके लिए गिवन होता है कि पासस थ्रू पॉइंट गिवन होता है तो उससे कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म निकल जाता है अगर लेट सपोज कॉन्जुगेट हाइपर बोला पूछ लिया तो आपको ए रिलेशन यूज करना पड़ेगा सी प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू टू ए मैंने प्रूफ किया था ना पिछले क्लास में सो so, एक ऐसा भी क्वेश्चन हुआ है जिसमें आपको सी प्लस एच इज इक्वल टू टू ए यूज करना होगा राइट क्लियर है स्क्रीन विजबल है आदित्य स्क्रीन साइज स्क्रीन विजबल क्वेश्चन इज ईब इज दिटी ऑफ द पर बोला एक्स स्क्वायर बाय ए स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर बाय बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन एंड थीटा इज द एंगल बिटवीन इट्स टूट्स the value of sin theta by 2 is sin theta by 2 ka value batana hai aapko given hai ki e is the eccentricity of the hyperbola and theta is the angle between its asymptotes the value of sin theta by 2 is Try to do easy question है मैंने बताया था ना uh, angle between asymptotes is b by a tan theta is equal to b by a ये बताया था ना यहाँ पे देखिए tan theta y is equal to so tan theta is equal to b by a b by a ये बताया हो tan theta is equal to b by a given क्या है कि इनके एंग इनके बीच का angle asymptotes a है and asymptotes है इनके बीच का angle it means क्या given है इतना इक्वल टू थीटा गिवन है आपको क्वेश्चन में इस ए गिवन है आप थीटा बाय टू क्या लिखेंगे टेन थीटा बाय टू लिखेंगे ना बी बाय ए कीजिए टाइट ओडो क्वेश्चन समझ में आ गया साय क्वेश्चन समझ गया अंडरस्टूड सर आदित्य आर यू डूइंग हाँ सर
साई हो गया साई आर यू डूइंग हाँ सर आपको टेन थीटा तो पता है ना टेन थीटा बाई टू टेन थीटा टू बाई टू क्या होगा बी बाई ए तो साइन थीटा ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लगा दीजिए ट्रायंगल्स पर मुला और आपको आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ई दिया होगा ना तो आपको इन टर्म्स ऑफ ई बताना होगा आंसर आदित्य यू गॉट द आंसर एंगल बिटवीन इट्स मतलब आपको ए इतना जो एंगल है वो थीटा की बेन है तो एक से साथ कितना थीटा बाई टू थीटा बाई टू राइट सो इट मीन्स की वाई इक्वल टू बी बाई एक्स एस एम टोर्स होता है तो टेन थीटा बाई टू इक्वल टू बी बाई ए की बेन है टेन थीटा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू बी बाई ए सो साइन थीटा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू क्या हो जाएगा अब ट्रेंगल फॉर्मूला लगा दीजिए ठीक हो पी बाई एच पी इज बी एच इज रूट अंडर ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर नाउ इलिप्स के लिए क्या लिखते हैं हेलो हाँ पे हाँ 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 रूम पे रूम
So, uh, see, uh, e, e, e square is equal to, answer is this, right? So now we can uh, substitute a square by b, a square plus b square. We don't know b square by a, b square equal to a square, e square minus one, right? So b square by a square is equal to e square minus one. So a square plus b square by a square is equal to e square. So root a square, e square is equal to a square plus b square. Sin theta by 2 is basically a e by b. This will be the answer. So sin theta by 2 is equal to sin theta by 2 equal to b upon root under a square plus b square. It means a square e square. So get sin theta by 2 is equal to b by a e. b by a e. This will be the answer. Now I am teaching uh, rectangular hyperbola. Topic is rectangular hyperbola. A hyperbola. to the towards R right angle to each other is called rectangular Hyperbola. A hyperbola to the asymptotes are right angle to each other is called rectangular hyperbola. It means angle between uh, angle between asymptote is pi by two, right? Is rectangular hyperbola. If angle between asymptote is pi by two, then is called Rectangular hyperbola. See in diagram and try to understand. This is the asymptotes. These two the asymptotes line, right? So if angle between uh, asymptotes, that is this angle, this angle is ninety degree, ninety degree asymptotes. Ninety degree. It means uh, y is equal to b by a x is the for this asymptotes and y is equal to minus b by a x for uh, this uh, asymptotes, right? So now see uh, tan theta is in this uh, so angle between asymptotes is hyperbola equation is hyperbola equation is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. So now we want to find the uh, equation of rectangular hyperbola. So we know now angle between angle between the toes is equal to 2 tan inverse b by a, right? In case of angle, tan inverse a jo angle hota hai, kya hota hai? tan tan agar theta a hai, theta one theta to tan inverse b by a right and also this theta is tan inverse b by a so angle between the sum torts is two tan two tan inverse b by a is the angle between so two tan inverse b by a is equal to pi by two hoga, right pi by two Angle between some torts is equal to pi, tan inverse, so equal to pi by 2 for the rectangular hyperbola. So now tan inverse b by a is equal to pi by 4. 
So now take the inverse. Yeah. So get b by a is equal to 10 pi by 4, that is 1. So it means b is equal to a. So we need to remember for the hyper rectangular uh, hyperbola, a is equal to b. So now equation will be x square by a square minus y square by a square is equal to 1. So get x square minus y square is equal to a square. So this equation is the rectangular hyperbola equation. So we need to remember x square minus y square is equal to a square equation of the rectangular hyperbola because a is equal to b. So key point is a is equal to b for the rectangular hyperbola and angle between asymptotes is pi by 2. Okay. Clear. So now can you find the eccentricity for the rectangular hyperbola? Say the rectangular hyperbola eccentricity is equal to Aditi do that and say the answer. Everyone Veda Veda Samaj Maya Aplet join Kena Veda Samaj Maya rectangular hyperbola. Sai, Swami Agya, Sai, Swami Agya. Ah, sir. Okay, good. Aditi. Ah, sir. Okay. So, eccentricity, but I hear eccentricity of hello, the tongue of hyperbola. Kyoga. is equal to Got you got the answer e is equal to easy now b you need to b square equal to a square e square minus one for the simplicity if b is equal to a so replace b equal to a so a square equal to a square e square minus one. So got e is equal to root two. Hmm. E is equal to root. So it's in root two. So the we need to remember is always eccentricity of the rectangular hyperbola is root two. For the in a rectangular hyperbola, eccentricity is equal to root two. We need to remember. For got it now. Uh, thing is, if if this hyperbola is 
is rotated such that coordinate axis coincide with is dots that axis that axis are rotated are rotated by an angle of minus pi by 4 about the origin about the origin then its equation then its equation aapse main point likh raha hu if the hyperbola is rotated such that coordinate axis coincide with asymptotes right it rotates that axis are rotated by an angle of minus pi by four about the origin. Then equation, then its equation. Just, आपको hyperbola का equation बता रहा है. अगर उसको minus pi by four से rotate कर दिया हो. So we know ना rectangular है. आप अच्छे से इसको समझिएगा. एक rotation है. X square minus y square equal to a square. Rectangular hyperbola. So now see. X new X new Y new X old X old Y old कॉस थीटा इज एक्स ऑल साइन थीटा इज माइनस साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा थीटा इज इक्वल टू माइनस पाई बाई फोर सी एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स कॉस थीटा माइनस वाई साइन थीटा सुनाओ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स cos theta is minus pi by 4 minus y sine minus pi by 4. So x is equal to get x by root 2 plus y by root 2. It means, sorry, x is capital X. So x is equal to x by root 2, x plus y by root 2, x is equal to. Now similarly, you can find y. So after this one, y is y is equal to x sine theta plus y cos theta capital and a small it represent. So y is equal to my x sine minus pi by four plus y cos minus pi by four. So y is equal to minus x by root 2 plus y by root 2. So get y is equal to minus x plus y by root 2. Now for rectangular hyperbola, rectangular hyperbola, we know that x square minus y square is equal to a square. So put x is equal to x x plus y by root 2, x plus y by root 2, and y is equal to x minus x minus y by root 2. So now uh, minus x plus y by root 2. So put the value x plus y by root 2 a square minus minus x plus y by root 2 
स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर सो वन बाय टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स वाई माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर आई एम फाइंडिंग सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म सो गेट टू एक्स फोर एक्स वाई बाय टू गेट वन बाय टू फोर एक्स वाई व्हाट इट इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर सो एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर बाय टू so x y is equal to a square by two so x y is equal to c square you can write also c square where c square is equal to a square by two constant so x y is equal to where c square is equal to a square by two replace so new curve new curve x y is equal to x y is equal to c square. New curve is x y is equal to c square. So we need to remember one of these things. If he rotated with theta, then uh, about the origin, then equation of the rectangular hyperbola is x y is equal to c square. So this is the rectangular hyperbola. Hyperbola. If, if rotate with pi by four without the origin, uh, rectangular hyperbola x y is equal to c square. See the diagram uh, to understand about these things. Making the diagram. Till now, any doubt? Aditi, any doubt? Aditi. So I'm doing. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. See? See the diagram. Uh, y equal to x line is uh, transverse axis and y equal to minus x is the uh, conjugate axis. For the rectangular hyperbola, see uh, this line is the diagram for the uh, x y is equal to c square. X y is equal to c square. For rectangular hyperbola x y is equal to c square now y is equal to c square by x and e is equal to root 2 for the rectangular hyperbola 
So now we need to find the uh, parametric equation for the rectangular hyperbola. Parametric equation. So parameter x is equal to c t and y is by equal to c by t. See, if you take x is equal to c t, c t, so y is equal to c square by x. So get c by t. So this is the parametric equation. So we need to remember point in rectangular hyperbola to point calculate C T comma C by T in the point parametric point the parametric equation in the hyperbola rectangular hyperbola. So now now we need to find the equation of normal and tangent. Uh, so for the rectangular hyperbola, we need to find the equation of tangent and normal. So can you find the equation of tangent and normal? Shy at the point C T comma C by T. So y is equal to C square by X is the equation of rectangular hyperbola, right? So we need to find the slope, right? Dy by dx. Dy by dx is called M that is slope of tangent, right? This is a slope of tangent for any curve. dy by dx is the slope of any tangent. So find the dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to uh, c is the constant term, right? So u by b. You know the depreciator depreciation dx. U by b depreciation. So first of all, uh, minus c square is 0, so now minus 1 into c square by x square. So minus c square by x square is the uh, depreciation. So divide by dx, so put the x is equal to ct. So minus c square or put ct. So c square t square. So get minus 1 by t square. So slope of tangent is slope of tangent is equal to minus 1 by t square. So now can you say the slope of normal? Slope of normal is equal to t square. What it? Because normal is always perpendicular to the tangent. So, so m1 m2 is equal to minus 1. So now we need to find the equation of uh, tangent to the rectangular hyperbola. Equation of Tangent to the hyperbola at C T comma C by T. So now first is Y minus C by T equation of tangent to the rectangular hyperbola. Rectangular hyperbola at C T comma C by T. So first is Y minus C by T is equal to minus slope of tangent minus one by T square X minus uh, X is C T, right? So this is the equation of tangent to the rectangular hyperbola at c t comma c by t. Second is equation of normal. To the rectangular hyperbola. Hyperbola at c t comma c by t. So y minus c by t is equal to slope is t square, right? t square x minus c t. So we need to remember slope. How much things we need to remember? We need to remember parametric equation. 
of the rectangular 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 CT comma C by T and we need to remember uh, equa equation so we can do the uh, if you get the slope and uh, write the point if you remember the point you get the answer equation of normal tangent so also we need to remember equation of tangent normal अगर याद नहीं रहे तो आप फाइंड कर लेंगे राइट अगर यू कैन फाइंड बाय दिस पैरामेट्रिक आपको पता है पॉइंट तो आप स्लो आप निकाल लीजिएगा फिर आप क्वेश्चन ऑफ टेंजेंट नॉर्मल लाइट का इक्वेशन लिख दीजिएगा राइट अगर मैं इसको सिंपलीफाई कर दो तो क्या आएगा बेसिकली आएगा वाई टी माइनस सी इज इक्वल टू टी स्क्वायर एक्स माइनस सी टी क्यू सो एक्स टी क्यू एक्स टी क्यू टी स्क्वायर द एक्स टी एस टी और एंड आल्सो बाय टी एक्स टी क्यू माइनस वाई टी प्लस सी माइनस सी टी पावर फोर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ नॉर्मल ये तो याद नहीं रहेगा आप ये याद कीजिएगा एनी डाउट टिल नाउ एनी डाउट वेदा एनी डाउट नो सर अदिति एनी डाउट रिप्टोमेर आई बोल रहा हूँ समझ आ गया ना ये आपको याद रखना है पैरामेट्रिक इक्वेशन सीटी कॉमा सी बाय टी एक्स इज सीटी एंड वाई इज सी बाय टी एंड यू कैन नो द इक्वेशन ऑफ स्लोप ऑफ टेंजेंट इज माइनस वन बाय टी स्क्वायर एंड स्लोप ऑफ नॉर्मल इज टी स्क्वायर And I think this term is do that. Any doubt? Anyone? Any doubt? Aditi, doubt there? Much? Nice. Question, write. I am question writing. Okay. You, you do this. If the normal at the point T one. to the rectangular hyperbola x y is equal to c square meets it again at the points to then t1 q t2 is equal to what bola gaya hai if the normal at the point t1 to the rectangular hyperbola xy equal to c square meets its again meets it at meets it again at the point t2 so then aapko batana hai ki t1 q t2 is equal to what T1 means uh, क्या है T1 means normal at point T1 it means saying is point is P point is C T1 comma C by T1 right and Q point क्या होगा T2 it means 
Screen is visible, Aditi, just confirm. Aditi? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so now, uh, see, equation of normal at point when T lick the C, T1, C by T. Aapko slope pata na ki T square hota hai to, or T1 square ho jayega. So, point pata Y minus Y1 is equal to slope. T1 square, X minus C, T1. Ab bola gaya ki it meets again at Point T two, it means Q point पे meet कर रहा है C two comma C by T two. So आप इसको pass करा दीजिए y is equal to put कर दीजिए y is equal to C by T two and x is equal to C T two and solve कीजिए. So C by T two minus C by T two minus C by T one is equal to T one square x minus x is C T two, C T two, C T two minus C T one. Now C T one minus C T two upon T one T two is equal to T one square C T two minus C T one. So C T two C T one is cancel out. So got T one Q T two is equal to one. So one is the answer for this question. One is the answer for this question. Got it? Clear? Hai? Aditi? Yes, sir. Uh, concept clear? Hai? Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Uh, so, SM2, A, you have a regular hyperplus one tag? Can I come on this one? A regular hyperplus one? एक इज इक्वेशन लेता हूं आप सो के बताइए वन इज इक्वेशन इफ ई एंड ई वन आर इसेंट्रिसिटी ऑफ द हाइपरबोला x y is equal to c square and x square minus y square is equal to c square then e1 square plus e2 square 
y bueno, y yo square plus y bueno, square y yo square plus y bueno, square cap of el velar. Answer to it in 30 seconds. Aditi, are you doing? A thirty second misconcept for us. Abime Badana, rectangular hyperbola, eccentricity, Kyota. Aditi, you got the answer, first question. How much is the answer? What's your final answer? How much is the answer? So, I'm lost in the last step. I'm stuck in the last step. I'm lost in the last step. Four is the answer. You got the answer, four? Yes, sir. We know, uh, this is a rectangular hyperbola, E is equal to root 2, and this is also a rectangular hyperbola, so E is equal to root 2, E1 is equal to root 2, so 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 answers. Aap isko kar lijega, homework is in okay? Ho jayega, Aditi? Yes, sir. कैसे कीजिएगा देखिए एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर टेम्बर आप पर बोला होता है एंड आपको गिवन क्या है कि ए माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए वाई स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर आल्सो रिटेम्बर है पर बोला तो बोथ हार आइडेंटिकल है राइट जब आइडेंटिकल होता है वन एंड टू बोथ हार आइडें Two by one is equal to a by minus one is equal to s four by s square. So.